If you are interested in officially licensed BC Wolves merchandise in the Philippines, they are produced and distributed exclusively by Jersey Haven. You can find them online. We've got shirts, jerseys, and mugs, and more merchandise to follow. All right, the BC Wolves, uh, during the break for the FIBA World Cup sixth and final window, played a couple of friendly matches. They didn't have the complete lineup with them. In fact, were extremely diff uh, undermanned when they played their second friendly match. But now they are back at full force, and even Jeffrey Taylor is ready to play. Recovered from that leg injury he sustained about a month ago. For BC Budivelnik, for those of you who are unfamiliar with them, which would be probably most fans in the Philippines, they are a 10-time Ukrainian Super League champion. Their last title coming in 2017. They have a couple of uh, Lithuanian players on the team. In fact, one of the ambassadors of the BC Wolves, uh, Darius Lavrinovich, played for Budivelnik 10 years ago when he was 14. A couple of people to look out for. Leading scorers for BC Budivelnik. Number two, Jerry Grant, who scores 18 points a game. Number 10, Archie Goodwin, a product of Kentucky, played for the Phoenix Suns, uh, New Orleans Pelicans, and the Brooklyn Nets after being drafted by the OKC Thunder. And we have Bogdan Bliznyuk, number 32, averaging 10 and a half points per game. For the BC Wolves, of course, they will be leaning very heavily on the members of the national team, the more experienced players, and their American reinforcements. We mentioned Jeffrey Taylor, but Ahmad Kaber has been playing extraordinarily well in the last few weeks, He's averaging 17 points per game to go with four rebounds and four and a half assists. Eric Buckner has finally been able to fully assert himself close to double figures in points and he has eight rebounds per match. The uh, national team players are Egerdas Zukauskas who sports number six. Christopas Jemaitis who wears number 13 and Arnas Beruchka who wears number 21. So once again, this is a home and away format. Two games are going to be played. It is the cumulative score of both games which will determine who advances to the semifinals. This is already a crossover, which is why this is the first time you're going to hear of BC Budivelnik because they were playing in Group A while the BC Wolves were playing in Group B. So the next game will be on March 18, precisely one week from today. And it will be on the home floor of BC Budivelnik in Italy. So uh, a new country to put on our calendar as we follow the journey of the BC Wolves, hopefully to the top of the ENBL.
Budivelnik will not consist with his offense, but the Wolves are trying to kick it up a notch. Five to two. We are so happy to see Jeffrey Taylor back at full strength. Isolation play. Buckner leaning in, getting a piece of it, but it still drops. Watch this. Under the basket, long bomb Mignotas off the rim and out. Strong fast break drive. Goodwin scoring easily. Seesaw game. Buckner almost traveled there. He's stuck in the three second area. Got to kick it out. Tip in is good. Broken play recovered. We're going back and forth now. It's a slugfest. You go back out. Long bomb off the rim and out. Caver without the headband this time inside the paint. Too strong off the glass. The Wolves recover. Pick and roll here. The entry pass is blocked. 
from the outside. Taylor sidestepping. Uh oh. Pass was picked off. Slam dunk on the fast break. Terrific move there by Archie Goodwin. Stepped on the gas, got away from Caver, and just stuffed it home. So Budivelnik back on top. Looks like we have a timeout. Let's take another look at that last play. Budivelnik jumping ahead. Adasiuskevich is back on the floor now for the BC Wolves. He's been on a tear the past few games. Missed their second friendly to rest his knees. 10 to 7, a couple of turnovers costing the Wolves. The weave on the upstairs. Jeffrey Taylor off the mark. Good interior defense by the Wolves, preventing the entry pass. Four and a half minutes left, going up strong. Looks like uh, Goodwin was clipped. Let's take another look at this. Nice feed from the post. Archie Goodwin entered the NBA draft in 2013 and went through four different teams before making his way to Europe. So far, he's been doing the most damage. He already has seven points. Make that eight. Score is now 12 to five in favor of the visitors. New face on the floor for Budivelnik. Each team playing very clean so far. Only one foul apiece. Not yet uh, too physical a game. There's the pick. No roll. Caver. Now it's six points. Keeping the Wolves close. There's a foul in traffic. So an opportunity here for the BC Wolves to tie the game or at least trim the lead down. Iskevich is uh, shifting over to the shooting guard spot, stepping on the sideline. You see that a lot. Zukauskas with the short mental lapse there. He's going to sit down for a bit. 
replaced by Regimantas Minotas. Sports number 10. Nice pickpocket job by Caver and a holding foul on Anthony Barber. Barber, a 6'1 point guard who played three seasons at North Carolina State. He was a first team all ACC player. ACC, of course, the Atlantic Coast Conference in the US NCAA. So since it was a holding foul, we free throws and possession. So not only can the Wolves tie, they can go ahead. There's head coach Rimas Cortinaitis, and we were talking about all those historical events earlier, and he was part of those. He played uh, in the 1988 Olympics, winning a gold medal. Under four minutes to go in a very active first quarter. Nice dribbling maneuver by Yuskevich. Just leans into the shot. Not his usual cup of tea. Ends up with a foul, though. So offense has slowed down quite a bit. Vitali Zotov, number 45, on the court now for Budivelnik. They're one foul away from penalty. Caver isolated against the smaller Barber. Taylor tries to pick and roll with Buckner. Hands it off in the last second. Nice shovel pass. We've rarely seen Taylor, Buckner, and Caver together for various reasons and mostly injury to Taylor. Quick bucket by Budivelnik. That's something the Wolves will have to look out for. Transition defense. In European basketball, you can't score and admire your handiwork. They kick it out, Taylor for three. Still nothing. The Wolves are a very good three-point shooting team. They just haven't made any so far in this first quarter. Budivelnik trying to get it into the post. There we go. Grant over Taylor or Buckner. Caver trying to push it up, but Budivelnik quick to defend. Stops and pops. Doesn't drop. Taylor had it, got it knocked away. Wolves had to spare a foul to prevent the visiting team from getting another easy bucket. Saver, uh, Caver is going to get some rest. Uh, Lukowskis. Oh, let me check that. It's Marcos Delia. He was also out during the FIBA window playing for Argentina, which unfortunately did not qualify for the FIBA World Cup. Coming up on the last two minutes of an action-packed first quarter. Zotov having his problems hanging out to possession. Shot clock is down to six seconds. They're going to put it up and fast. Step back three. Oh! Lucky break for Budvelnik. That was Vyacheslav Bobrov. Fall away. Easy rebound for Delia. Skevich is getting the screen, taking three and burying him. Now he can put up a bunch of those in a hurry. One minute, 17 seconds to go. One point game. It will stay with Budvelnik. 14 seconds on the clock.
Hands everywhere. Could have been a turnover. Barber show, showing off his dribbling. Good block there. A lot of size on the floor. Nice recovery by the Wolves. Change of pace. Delia in the middle of the pack got fouled there. 51 seconds to go. The Wolves with a chance to take the lead back. Budivelnik just now in the penalty. And you see Budivelnik gathering on the floor a lot. Talking things over, making adjustments, sharing their observations. Delia ties the game. He averages seven and a half points per game and five and a half rebounds. The lead is back with the Wolves. They trap in the backcourt. Try to chase down the dribbler. Three point shot. By Pablo Burenko saves them for the moment. A lot of size on this Budivelnik team, but they cannot control possession. So the Wolves can actually close out the quarter with the last possession. Jemaitis bringing up the ball, giving it to Yuskevichus. The Wolves almost had it. Still plenty of time for Budivelnik to score. Zotov, the backup point guard, asking for a screen. The Wolves wisely give up a foul with only four seconds to go. Let's see if Budivelnik has a set play for this kind of situation. It's a, almost a double stack formation in the paint. They force it up. So at the end of one quarter, the Wolves are just down by two, 20 to 18. We'll be back. This is the ENBL quarterfinals. You are watching the ENBL quarterfinals. If you've just joined us, the bad news is the Wolves are down by two. The good news is they only shot 33%. In the first quarter, while BC Budivelnik shot 50%, everything else is practically dead even. If you look at all the numbers, Ahmad Kaver carrying the load for the Wolves with eight points and three rebounds. Jeffrey Taylor, on the other hand, with uh, three assists. Archie Goodwin with eight points as well. 
Bisnuk has three rebounds, so it's practically a mirror image of each other. It's funny that the guards are doing big man things and the big men are doing guard things. Still 20 to 18 after that failed offense by Budivelnik. Nice no look pass inside. Now we're humming. We are tied at 20. Long three-pointer. He was feeling it, but it wasn't feeling him. A lot of contact, no foul called. Iskevich is saying, let's settle down. No need to rush. Delia on the outside. Jemaitis finds an opening. One-handers, no good. Long bomb. Ambitious play by Barber. Jemait is asking for a screen. Doesn't get one. They're using up a lot of time here. Here comes Delia. There's the brush off. Jemait just takes it himself and rattles in. He leaned, in, leaned back from the shot to get separation. Jemaitis makes his first score of the game. They lob it inside. There's a mismatch, and obviously there has to be a foul. White-bodied Vyacheslav Bobrov. Matt Kaver back on the floor, and Budivelnik doing very well for themselves, even though they're on the road. They're just down by two. Two minutes gone by in the second quarter. Barber hands it off. So just like that, we are tied once again. Bobrov doing the honors. That is the problem when you are trailing a cutter, you're facing your man and the ball can come in over your head. Coach score tonight, this is some choice words for Minotas, who hasn't really contributed yet in this game. Caver rattling out his first free throw. Wolves missed one free throw in the first quarter. Made everything else. Ahmad Caver played very briefly for the Indiana Pacers in the NBA. Long, dangerous pass. Oh, somebody got away. Great presence of mind by Barber. We are deadlocked at 25. Jerry Grant curiously sat out quite a bit of the first quarter. He's the leading scorer for Budivelnik. They set a screen. Back to Barber. Small lineup here for Budivelnik. Nice crossover move. Teardrop goes in. Mignotas, you can see the frustration. That's Johnny Berhanemeskel. A lot of experience. Pick and roll. Delia flustered there on that play. Alice Beruchka on the floor for the Wolves. A couple of new faces.
they can't interrupt the play they shouldn't because the ball had already been handed to the inbounder 27 25 Budivelnik up by a bucket you see the foul picture on your screens Verna Meskel, nice one-handed pass inside. Grant didn't realize he was alone. Jemaitis uses the pick. Caver. Delia goes the other way. Shot clock down to seven. Caver creating, going up strong, partially deflected. Delia is fouled. Delia cleaning up. Sort of get the feeling that this is a tug of war and something's got to give real soon. Teams seem very eager, yeah, evenly matched. Aurimas Majoskas, the Lithuanian player of Budivelnik, is on the floor. You see him there wearing number 22. BC Wolves only really came together in June of last year, acquiring an existing franchise and quickly put together a team. In October, they acquired Juan Gomez de Leano from the Philippines. But developing taking too much time to set up a shot here. Shot clock down to four. They've got to create. Up and under, doesn't go. They get it back. Awkward shot. Oh no, too many bodies for Budivelnik. Goodwin just outworking everybody else. Budivelnik up by three. Almost halfway through the second quarter. Jemite has got away. Caver for three. Still nothing. You can expect that to change when they get to the second half. Oh, that was traveling. Brandon Meskel deep inside. It's short, tipped in, however. Jerry Grant, after a long dry spell, gets his fourth point of the game. Biggest lead of the game. Jemite is distracted. Not too many offensive boards here for the Wolves. Caver. Very good footwork shown by Bliznyuk, but no basket. Iskevich is fouled. Johnny Berhanemesco, the guilty party. We have a timeout. Our score is 31 26, Budivelli. At halftime, we'll have a couple of uh, cultural performances to honor both uh, countries represented in this game. And we'll also be breaking down the halftime stats. So far, 
But the Velnik with the upper hand, but we've seen the Wolves come back before. The BC Wolves finished the uh, regular season in a three-way tie for a second. Which booked them a quarter-final spot. Yuskevich is back to Caver. Buckner with the screen. Caver doesn't use it. Taylor back in the game with the Belnik so far on the outside they attack there's a foul and one looks like Bognan Bliznyuk will go to the line he averages over 10 points and 5 rebounds a game Arnas Berechka back in the back in the game. Three-point play. But Develnik now up by six. Each team one foul away from penalty. Still three minutes and spare change left on the clock. Buckner driving inside. He is fouled and has a chance for a three-point play opportunity. Reach in by Archie Goodwin. Here's a replay. Very light foul. Buckner close to getting into double figures. 34-31, low scoring second quarter. Not as much movement on the part of Bodivelnik. They try a post up, knocked out of bounds by Berechka. Bodivelnik in the penalty though. Taylor hanging on to his thumb, could have gotten it jammed. Brian Meskel has it picked off. Caver almost had it shot clock starting to wind down they've been denying the inbound oh there was a push great block upstairs boy look at the muscle of Budivelnik Grant just jumping over everybody. Let's see who the foul is on. Looks like the foul is on one of the Budivelnik players. So we march back the other way. And Taylor got the rebound and was fouled. He will be at the free throw line, but Velnik will be giving away free throws now. Good break for the Wolves. Second foul on Grant. Oh, offensive rebound by the Wolves. Caver hands it off to Buckner, stuffs it home. That's the exclamation point, and now we are tied. That should shake the confidence of Budivelnik. Grant just out jumping everybody after Goodwin missed that one. Buckner complaining to the officials. They need to box out better. Just really just taking a step back, sealing the man from uh, jumping to within reach of the ball. Brian Amesco. 
Nice first step. There's that spin, fall away, forced shot. Rins out. It's a foul on one of the Wolves, so therefore they will be in the penalty. Two minutes, 32 seconds remaining. Looks like it'll be free throws for Grant. Jerry Grant, a product of Clemson. And a career high of only seven points per game in the US NCAA. free throw makes it he has seven points in the game to go with seven rebounds we have a timeout 232 to go in the second quarter Caught a glimpse of Minotas talking with the refs. That is an adjustment that people don't really give much emphasis on, but it is a major adjustment. Every game you have to adjust to the officiating. And some refs will call it light and some will wait until you're practically bloodied before blowing their whistles. 36-34, chance for the Wolves to pull even. Minotas looking for Caver. Caver double teamed on the outside. Somebody's got to be open. Minotas slapped away. Shot clock down to 4.2. So they've got to do something in a hurry. Caver. Up fake, lean in, too strong. Bad outlet pass, sends the ball back to the Wolves. Berhane Meskel from Canada. Canada won the silver medal in the very first Olympic basketball competition in Berlin in 1936. Pick and roll. Oh, clean defense. Prevented the dunk by Buckner. Double team inside, somebody's left open. No switch there and no recovery. Offensively, the Wolves have been doing okay, better than the first quarter. It's the defense that's been leaving holes. Buckner got away, triple team, he's fouled and makes it. Talk about bleeding for your points. There's a triple team all over him. I believe the foul is going to be on Bliznyuk, number 32. 
Coach Cortinaitis has not been as animated as he normally is. Buckner threads the needle. One point lead and now more pressure from the Wolves. Grant escapes. Long shot from Bernamesco. It luckily drops in. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. 41-37, last minute of the first half. Buckner, within five feet of the bucket, kicks it away. Caver, nice fake. In traffic, Minota still nothing. Kicks it out. Taylor for three. No. A lot of solid effort by the Wolves. If that's on Grant, that's his third. Now only his second. Peruchka missing the first free throw. Makes the second. Three point game. Bernamesco showing off his dribbling, but that's not going to score it. Better switching now by the Wolves. Bernamesco against Buckner. Not a good matchup for the Wolves. Still plenty of time for the Wolves. Take a good shot. Taylor, three on the way. Just off the lip of the rim. So at the end of the first half of play, BC Budivelnik has rebuilt a five-point lead, which they will carry into the second half. We'll be back with some live performances and the halftime stats, you are watching the ENBL quarterfinals. Irmos ir sikrovimus vive, ir po jo jau kelionė kiesona tradesa. Nuo šalinės parašyta. Raudonas kryžius turi būti ant dižės. Raudonas kryžius. Yra. Teko šiek tiek užsibūti Nipro, nes turėjom prisatyti minsinį įrangą, bet atsirado problemas su dokumentais. Tai, kai išsiaiškinam, kad galim čia užtrūkti ir porą dienų, tai radom surindimą, radom vietinį fondą, kuriam laikinai peraudom visą tą įrangą. Ir važiuojam toliau, o dokumentų sutvarkys ir petus lygojimai. Vėl duoji diena ir vienai pavaigia, tačiau į pakank vaisaugę vietą turi Damatorsko. Šiandien šią ir nukavosim.
Bakhmut'a Galbut girdisi Girba Viray Şuvi Her foto girdisi ertileri Çöpradyar ertileri Dirip Все, что я помню, удар прикладом по голове и все лицо в степи. Это не вот так вот ухамство. Это наш русский мир. Подняком дали бичуку. Рекромоторску, я с изюма, может, не ищу. Далее по галму с Олегом Че. Вот это вижу, то есть изюма и репа симту. По мясу вижу им и ед. Украина с Карла Вертуве. Сейчас на мусс королевской посетика. Время шелтай, батлауки, я не реально шалта. Да порогался. Ребята, спасибо вам за все. Украина это сила. Литва, молодцы. Спасибо вам за все. Вы красавчики. С вашей помощью будет обязательно перемога. Без вас бы мы тоже было, было бы тяжело. Так что, ребята, вы крутые. Нереально крутые. Спасибо. Скажите, как вы здесь вообще выживаете? Мы сейчас едем просто здесь почти все разы разбоблены. Так выживаем, а я как так выживаю. Гуманитарка, что это, а так что, нема с чем это. Света нема, воды нема. Гуманитарка есть. Вот так вот даю, да. То есть, если бы без гуманитарки, то ничего бы не получилось? А, что Спасибо. А скажите, а почему вы не пытаетесь сюда выехать? Куда? Куда? Нема куда. Ни денег, нема ничего, и за что? За тих дві дві тисячі, що дають, то тут не проживеш у городі, нічого не купиш за дві тисячі. Що це дві тисячі? Як взагалі вас війна застала? Тобто, як ви... Тобто, що тут відбувалося? Вас підупреждали, або як-то просто почалося? Що підупреждали? Бахали. Коло нема танку на прямі круги вперли. Кожен день по дві, по три колони. А вот, где мать? Ну, сейчас уже спокойно? Да, спокойно. Мини, миниоры минировали, ведь поляк это разрывает. А так, ну, ну, чуть-чуть, с Херсона, а то вон тоже, Херсон бьют, то чуть-чуть. Да, да, мы сейчас сюда и поедем, вот здесь вот раз один. Ну, что ж, направив 30 километров, видишь, не важно. А что тут 30 километров? Здесь есть пазики, ставится. Да, здесь внутри камин. Да, то есть камин во всех полностью собраны. Спасибо, что дали дрова, что это, что не забывают, помогают. Одно сельчане нам дома заезжают две деревья, не привезли, мы попеляли. Спасибо. Спасибо, что вы выключили здоровье. 
Держитесь. Ну и как вообще люди реагировали? Пытались бежать, ждали чего-то? Мы ждали до победного конца. Хозяйство поняли. Нельзя было покинуть, нельзя было не сдать ничего. Я ответил, добре? Да, конечно. Света, а сейчас я буду. Две минутки. Став чайник. Повный. Добре, давай. У меня уже начинает трясти. Ну, это сейчас так вы объезжаете и потом на трассу направо. Помогал, помогал хлопцам нашим все. Мы просто смотрели, что укрепления были, окопы, все такое. Сейчас я вам покажу. Не-не, российские такие, поэтому их спрашиваю. А, как... то там, не-не, то же они вот там нас терроризировали. Это по нас стреляли, через нас стреляли. А, то есть с вами прикрывались? Да, так точно. Это как? Металлолом держится на будущее? Казали, можно сдать, но у нас не принимают. Не-не, мы же были, оно. Сейчас идемте, я вам все расскажу, как оно. Мимо, бы уже нервничать было. Немножко ремонта надо сейчас, да? Чуть-чуть, да. Чуток. Сколько вы здесь уже жили до того, как пришли? 30 год. 30 лет в этом доме? Да. Женка беременна была, копали мы сами фундамент под этот дом. Ну, это... это у нас тут кухня была. Холодильник, два холодильника, морозильная камера, мойка. Ну, короче, все будет. Можно вас вдвоем сфотографировать? На фоне яком? На кровати можно? Своими силами мы ничего не сделаем. Порозбивали, как это называется. Все. Ну и сейчас здесь тихо уже? Ну как тихенько? Ну чуть же от Херсона. От Херсона тут 30 километров. Да-да. Но они прилетают уже оттуда. Ну сейчас пока не прилетают. А так, у нас же там полмедвир, не знаю, как сани. У меня в дворе, чтобы четыре снаряда так и стоять. Там нужна снаряд. Но здесь минеры уже были? Ну, были, ну, все не разминировано. В основном, когда этими дорогами едем, тут разминировано. А так... А так все, все в минах? Все кругом по всех посадках. Тут, в любой посадке. На ставку, это у нас рядом, ставку вызвали. Тут... Ну, а здесь люди как вообще выживают? Воды нет, электричества нет? Нема ничего. Все равно я на свои же края. Я тут родился. Ну, как я могу в родственнике сидеть? Батьки мои тут были, я же были бои или же прилетали? Ну, конечно, бои. Тут же было я же. Бои у них русские тут уже были. Это они тут постоянно там тут не ходили. Дальше посадки. Вот это попало, то поразбивало так. То минометы. А так погорело, то там. И у него это Саша так само. 29 числа. У него полтретьего, у него полтретьего загорелось. А мы это еще и час. В общем, силами все восстановим. Да, конечно. Главное, здоровье и мир. И было все, все наше. Мир и здоровье. Только мы будем падать. Здесь вот по этой дороге не выезжать, там потому что карта ведет. Да не вижу. Ты говоришь, где гелки там растешь. Нет, чего? Если через центральное... Фуры, Саша. Фуры, да. Дорога дуже плохая. Не, не, не. Не, лучше назад, и на трассу получится. Отогнали их отсюда, потому что уже тихо. А так тут погасили и дома. Вы здесь стояли? Девять месяцев почти. А? Ну, это целое полностью в оцеплении же было. Это же они в село только не зашли, а так полностью в округе. Сейчас спокойно? Сейчас да. Ну, ракеты пролетают, падают, их сбивают. Уже полно в ракетах сбитых. 
Что там? Ты из Литвы? Ну, мой Спасибо Литве за теперь будем в тепле и тепле. Спасибо, что за помощь даете. Огромное спасибо за помощь, за все. Дякую, мои Литве, за буржуйки. Теперь у нас будет тепло. Дай вам Бог здоровья. Дай вам Бог бережа. That just really drives home how bad things have been in Ukraine since February of 2022. So it's been more than a year. And let us always keep them in their prayers. Those uh, humanitarian missions were led by the BC Wolves and Rimanta Skaukenas Foundation and many other businesses that do not approve of the ongoing conflict. basic human needs, shelter and warmth, and food. Let us keep them in our prayers. Scores 43 to 38. The Wolves only shot 37% in the first half, and that alley-oop adds two points to Eric Butler's total. He's got 14. Budivelnik shot 42%. The Wolves only one out of ten from three-point range. That is the missing factor in this game. They were also out-rebounded by Budivelnik in the second quarter. Buckner doing a great job of keeping away from fouling Grant. Caver pops one off the rim and out. Budivelnik will want to run. But better defense now by the Wolves. I'm sure they got a Big talking to by coach Rimas Cortinaitis at halftime. Crossover. Solo drive by Bliznyuk did not work, but they get the ball back. Brahana Meskel going inside and... Basket. Gives back a five-point lead to Budivelnik. Bill Velasco here bringing you all the action from the European North Basketball League quarterfinals. Running one-hander by Adas Yuskevich just does not go in. Whips it inside. Grant is fouled. Seems to be something missing in the communication of the BC Wolves in this game. They've not really been able to pull together defensively. Marcos Delia back in the game.
Brad. Only eight points, missing the first free throw, but also eight rebounds. Taking his time with the second one. Missing the second as well. It will stay with Budivelnik. Good positioning there by Alec Brown. Zukauskas sits down after a minute and a half. Grant against Delia. Spins baseline. Blocked from behind, but fouled. He's been a pain in the side of the BC Wolves. Warding off the hand check. Now that's one thing that you have to prevent is a baseline drive because once the man gets past you, there's really nothing you can do but foul. Luckily, Jerry Grant has been missing his free throws. Oh, Spoke too soon. He made the adjustment. Forty-six, forty. But the Wolves have been known to be very explosive, especially in the fourth quarter. Lane violation. Someone entered the paint too soon after the free throw, so he gets an extra one. Too quick. Team fouls for the Wolves. But Ivelnik still clean. Putting more follow through on his shot. Seven point lead for Budivelnik, biggest of the game. Wolves have to be careful here. Caver. Teardrop, he is fouled. Looks like it's on Berhanimesco. Should be an active shooting foul. Two free throws for Ahmad Kaver. 11 points, three rebounds, four assists. Solid all around game already for Kaver. He's been very consistent. He's been averaging over 17 points a game. Spent some time with the Memphis Hustle in the NBA G League. Misses the second, though. It's the little things that are starting to hurt the Wolves. Missed three throws, missed three-point shots. They haven't gotten anything to drop consistently from the outside. Sixteen seconds on the clock. Should have been reset to fourteen, actually. Bernard Meskel looking inside. Majowskis gives it up. Fancy move to beat the clock. Lucky breaks have been going the way of Budivelnik in this game. Let's see if they count it. I guess it doesn't count. Let's take a look at this. Great presence of mind by Goodwin, but just didn't release the ball quick enough. Let's see if they're going to do a video review of that, which is available at a lot of these games all throughout Europe if there is a question on a call of course you can't question all the calls but you're allowed to do so occasionally
again, this is one of those things that you have to live with, even if, even if it slows down the game. Here's the call, sticks. There's that familiar weave, Yuskevich is just not as precise as he normally has been. Remember, they are also playing in the Lithuanian League. Great drive. Now an eight-point lead. The Wolves a little disorganized here. Who will take the shot? Tried to get it to Minota. Slapped away seven seconds on the shot clock. Brown using those long arms. Nukauskis with the inbound. Jemaitis back on the floor. More shooting for the Wolves. Caver always able to find an opening. But the rim spat it out. Budibelnik may now go up by 10. Even if the Wolves should lose this game, remember, it's the total score of the two home and away games that they will tally to determine. Grant! skips into the lane for two now i think the wolves need a timeout they are down by 10 points goodwin we have a timeout we'll be back hi i'm juan gomez Liliano. follow me and my team bc wolves subscribe to our newsletter and get wolves news straight to your inbox Okay, wait a moment. Let's go. So, guys, we have new member in our family, so welcome one. And join us and um, waiting for invitation to Philippines. Okay? Okay. <laughs> we are! Okay, guys. BC Wolves not shooting particularly well and allowing easy baskets for BC Budvelnik. Shooting is still at 35%. Only 14 out of 40. Ouch. Also got to work on those rebounding numbers. A little more energy on the part of the Wolves coming out of that timeout. They need a nice score here. Foul downstairs, blocked upstairs. So, Zukauskas and Binyotas on the floor together for the first time this game. Coaching staff of Budivelnik still unhappy with the officiating. They're up by 10. Minotas finally gets his first point of the game. Missing the second. That's what we were talking about. The little things, the missed free throws, which are practically gimme basket. Lukowski's rubbed off the screen. Open three, uncontested. The Wolves with the rebound. Caver trying to push it up. Maybe a change of tempo would be good. Nice, quick move by Caver to the basket. 
Touche. But again, somebody's left alone under the basket. Alec Brown left open. Now he'll have to earn it the hard way. Five minutes, 44 seconds to go in the third quarter. Regardless of the outcome, what's important is the Wolves do not fall behind by too much if Budivelli continues to lead because they've got to make up the difference in the next game, which will be on the road. Is that familiar interchange? Caver going up, changing hands. He got fouled, and of course, Brown doesn't like it. That will be his third personal foul. Nice first step. Caver switching in midair, and Brown still got it. Jay Blizniuk asking for instructions. Caver. Great all-around performance. But again, the free throws. Oh, that's very painful to watch. The Wolves are hovering at 60%. Lead is down to eight. Wolves have not been able to get their running game going. Brian Maskell with the leather. Open lane underneath. There are too many white shirts inside the paint. Long bomb goes in. Brian Maskell pads it on. 11 point advantage now for Budivelnik. 10 time Ukrainian Super League champion. Spot up jumper does not drop. Wolves trying to get it back. They give up a foul instead. They've got to do something to stop the bleeding. Lukowski is back on the floor. Jemaitis keeping a close watch on Goodwin. Better individual defense now by the Wolves. Oh, did Lukowski touch it? I guess he did. Nine seconds left on the clock for Budivelnik. The Wolves in the penalty. Budivelnik one foul away. Caver with a horrible mismatch there. Swatted the ball away though. Still. They're giving away layups in this quarter. Caver in a crowd Buckner setting screens and rolling in awkward shot by Zemaitis Berna Meskel setting it up they're spreading the floor making it difficult to switch Berna Meskel creating room does not go Brown boxed in well. Wolves get a lucky break, but Dubelnik is now in the penalty. Foul is on Bobrov. Jauskas returns for Budivelnik. They're up by 13 now. Inside, nobody home. Zukauskas chipping in two points. Three point shot on the way, A little flat. Aver pushing it up, gathering steam. Ball fake, missing the shot. Buckner 
Looks like he was fouled. It will be on Majowskis, it seems. Now, little by little, Budivelnik is getting into foul trouble. A couple of their key players already have three fouls apiece, so that's good if the Wolves can continue to draw contact in the paint. Buckner now with 15 points. Make that 16. The lead is down to nine. Oh, inbound error. Let's find out what happened there. Looks like Bliznyuk stepped onto the floor before releasing the ball. So it's an under goal inbound for the BC Wolves. Good development for them. Chance to get some momentum going here. Open lane. Teardrop does not go in. The Wolves are going to have to crash the boards more. Last three minutes of the third quarter. Berhan Meskel has done an excellent job so far. That was a push. Bad shot as the clock expired. They want to go downstairs. They go outside instead. Still nothing from three-point range. The Wolves will come back. You can count on that. Inside, nobody's able to stop Alec Brown, all seven foot one of him. And Bob Roff is also doing his share inside the paint. A lot of muscle. Trying to find somebody open from the corner. Finally! Ahmad Kaver. 18 points now. The defense is now kicking in for the Wolves. Oh, there's a foul. That's penalty. That's two free throws. Juan Gomez de Leano coming into the game for the first time at 1 minute and 49 seconds in the third quarter. Going to be teaming up with uh, Christopher Gervaitis in the backcourt. Adas Yuskevich is a reliable free throw shooter. But a pretty small lineup for the Wolves. Resting the imports for the remainder of the third quarter. They're within six points, believe it or not. They were down by 13. Gomez de Leano going easily over the screen. They lob it inside. Nice. Blind side job by the Wolves. No look pass. Very bad pass. Zuchowskis just too deep under the basket for Buckner to retrieve. Would have been great if they had connected. Well, back to defense. Buckner, there's a switch. There's a mismatch. Bobrov. Backing down, they open a three-point shot. Yes. So that turnover really hurts. Could have scored two points one way. Instead, you gave up three points the other way. Jemaitis, big screen. Returns the compliment. Eric Buckner really helping all his teammates get in on the action. Gomez de Leano relentlessly chasing down Zotov. Another steal by the Wolves. Frustrating day for Aurimas Majauskas. The lead is down to six. 
And the Wolves have possession. We told you they were going to come back. 34.8 seconds, a dramatic third quarter. Almost over. And the BC Wolves will come into the fourth quarter much more energized. And Caver and Taylor having gotten a lot of rest. There's got to be a foul there, and somebody's going to go to the free throw line. Zemaitis will take two. As we said in the first half, the Wolves can keep it close, get a run going in the fourth quarter, zoom ahead to close the game out. Jemite is easily making the first. Now, if you're Budivelnik, you've got to start worrying. They've taken nine points off your lead in just the last four minutes. Might shake your confidence going into the fourth quarter. And of course, the Wolves are playing at home. Buckner, there's got to be a traveling call in there somewhere. Long three-point shot, almost but not quite. Still, just six points separating the two teams. We go into the fourth quarter with the Wolves having momentum. We'll be back in a moment. Hi, I'm Juan Gomez Lillano. Follow me and my team, BC Wolves. Subscribe to our newsletter and get Wolves news straight to your inbox. Sixty-five to fifty-nine, heading into the fourth quarter of the first ever quarterfinal game of the BC Wolves in the European North Basketball League. This is a new league that only had eight teams last year and 15 this year. Would you look at that? Jerai Green has not gotten anything going in the third quarter. Jemaitis and Gomez de Leano, the backcourt for the BC Wolves going into the fourth quarter. Wolves statistically improving slightly in the third quarter. They're now up to 36% shooting. But they cannot allow casual scores just like that Gomez de Leone for three way off the mark Buckner is there for the rebound snapped out of bounds shot clock down to five since the ball did not hit the rim the shot clock did not reset but the referees deemed that it goes to Budivelnik the lead is eight points Wolves mustn't allow it to get into double figures or it would have wasted all their effort in the third quarter. Inside, they try to front. Bobro backing his way down. Finds an open man way, way off the mark. Bobro with the rebound. Scared to shoot, decides to hand it off. There's a switch. 
Gomez de Leano against Green. Shot down to two seconds. Finally, it winds up with the Wolves. Jemite is doing some rebounding. Gomez de Leano. From way outside, Buckner gives the rebound. Dumps it back in. Couple of more stops and we're in business. Goodwin looking for somebody inside. Iskevich just whistled for a foul. Marana Mescal has been getting a lot of rest in this fourth quarter. Almost two minutes gone by. Caver back on the floor. There's that switch again. He's guarding the much taller green. All they got to do is lob it inside. They decide on a long three-point shot. Zoltov dousing the rally. Caver crossing over, going up with the left. It rolls in. But now the problem is on the other end of the floor. The Wolves need a couple of stops. Goodwin now bringing up the ball. Pick and roll. Swat it away. Get that out of here. Watch this. Thought he had gotten away. Buckner catching up. Rejecting it. Seven minutes, 39 seconds. By the way, if the game should end in a tie, there will be no overtime because we will include the score of the second game that they play on March 18 in Italy. Barana Mescal back on the court now. Good left-handed layup by Bliznyuk. Leads back to nine. Kaver, surprised to find himself open, kicks it out. Yuskevichus, Jemaitis, short. Buckner recovers. Jump hook is good. Eric Buckner is keeping them in the game. 20 points, six rebounds. Little confusion on the part of Budivelnik. Baron Mescal against Buckner. It's got to be a big man in the paint. Shot clock down to two. Bobrov. It rolls in. They have been so lucky. They've beaten the shot clock five times so far in this game. Caver doesn't use a screen. Crossing into the paint. He gets a foul. We have Delia and Minotas returning. More size for the BC Wolves. Nine point lead. Caver and Buckner have been carrying the load for the Wolves. Iskevichus has been off the mark in this game. He's only contributed five points. They trapped Goodwin. Get, almost had it. Lucky break for Budivelnik. Oh, that's traveling. Or an offensive foul. Great turn of events for the BC Wolves. 74 65, 6 05 remaining. Game one of the quarterfinals. Top four teams in Group B went up against the top four teams in Group A. Each plays a home and away series. Uh oh, Caver has his pocket picked. Goodwin has his pocket picked. Jemaitis 
Gets the ball back. Has it knocked away. They will keep with 16 seconds to go. You know, Budivelny complains about everything. Every turnover, every foul call, they're in the face of the referee. Let's see if the referees are conferring about something. Could be a warning. Looks like we'll have a video review once again. I think Budvelnik's worried that they're not able to put away the Wolves. And they have to face this team again in exactly one week. So let's check the numbers once again. The Wolves 21 out of 57. Budivelnik 29 out of 64 for 45%, which is kind of decent. The rebounding story is where the trouble lies now. Budivelnik with 44 rebounds, the Wolves 31. A lot of that we can attribute to Bliznyuk, Grant, and Brown, who have combined for 27 of the 44 rebounds of Budivelnik. So the Wolves need to gang rebound if they can't match up size-wise. So the Wolves will inbound. 16 seconds on the clock. Bill Velasco here bringing you the action from Lithuania. Honoring the restoration of Independence Day and a rare dribbling error by Adas Yuskevichus. It is nine points for Budivelnik, but this game is only half the job. So much dribbling here by Budivelnik. Berhanemeskel, way out of nowhere. Trying to go one on one, finds some daylight, got blocked, gets it back. That's got to be out of bounds anyway. If the ball goes over the corner of the backboard, it's automatically out of bounds. Yuskevich is still firing, still missing. Gets it back, he'll try again. Still nothing. The Wolves get it back again. Here we go. No. Boy, they're taking pot shots, finally. Beruchka breaking the silence. 74-68, four shots to make that triple. Coming up on the last four minutes of this game. Budivelnik not happy with the way the Wolves are fighting back, but they score in the paint. The Wolves will have to do their homework on defense. Oh, miscommunication. Luckily, the Wolves keep with 15 seconds on their shot clock. Four oh eight to go. First order of business is to keep the score close. Buckner, short rest 
on the bench. He's back on the floor. Lead is eight for Budivelnik. We haven't seen much of Taylor in the second half. Caver working his way in, scores it. Just grit his teeth, put his head down and drove strong. He's got a nice matchup here against Zotov. Berhane Meskel now more comfortable at the two guard spot. Goodwin looking to Green. Green unmanned in the paint. Buckner slipped here. Should have been contact called. But Buckner slaps it in. They're keeping it close, but still you would prefer to win. For Hanumesco. With an offensive foul. He was trying to be dramatic, but he initiated the contact. Bogdan Bliznyuk. Back on the floor. Six foot six small forward. Also averaging in double figures for BC Budivelnik. Buckner, he will not shoot from there. Caver might. Still, finally, Alas Yuskevich just breaks his silence. And don't look now. But BC Budivelnik looks worried. We have a timeout. Just a few plays ago, it was a nine-point lead for Budivelnik. Now it's just three. I would be worried if I was them. And you can see the Wolves are fired up. Minotas, Yuskevichus, Buckner, Jemaitis. Two and a half minutes. Crunch time. One more stop. And things will take a serious turn for the better for the Wolves. They want Green to back Buckner down. It's not working. He's going to try that fadeaway. Foul downstairs. Good foul to give up. And for Eric Buckner, only his second. So now they're, they have to start all over again. Bernameska looking to find an open shooter. That fadeaway is no longer working. And the Wolves are on the run. Yuskevich is going up strong. Blocked. We're going up the other way. Bernameska, ambitious three-point shot goes in.
What a quick turnaround. Johnny Berhanemenskill trying to be impactful. Seems we have a timeout. Mathematically, very, very possible. Back to the game. Neither team in any immediate danger of penalty. Iskevichus, Minotas, Zimaitis, Buckner, and Beruchka on the court for the Wolves. Grant Berhanemeskel, Goodwin, Bobrov, and Blizniuk for Budivelnik. They want a three-point shot, and they get it. Just a three-point game now. Berhanemeskel. He's been trying to fish fouls more than make his shots. Beruchka's been chasing him all over the court. Now Yuskevich is with the switch. Goodwin. Three-point shot. It's off. Another chance. Another golden opportunity for the Wolves. Inside the paint, Ahmad Kaver has been unstoppable. 24 points. One-point game. Goodwin deciding to bring up the ball himself. Only gave it up at midcourt. Berhana Meskel. Gets the ball back. Shot clock at seven. Great defense by the Wolves. Berhana Meskel pulling out all his tricks. Missing. Chance for the Wolves to take the lead. Caver reading the defense. Finding an opening. Blocked, but they will keep. Good blanket job by Jerry Green, Jerry Grant, rather. 16 seconds to go, 35 seconds left in this match. Buckner wisely gives it to Caver. Yuskevich just hits off the rim and out. So close. Now Budivelnik needs to score. Three second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Wolves must not foul. Oh, that should have been an offensive foul. Budivelnik now does not need to score. They just need to hold on to pull this game out. We'll talk about that after this timeout.
BC Budvelnik led by as much as 13. They have possession with a one point lead. Barely seven seconds left. Remember, we said total score of the two games. So winning today doesn't really make a difference. All right, it's the three-point lead, and now the Wolves call a timeout, probably to set up a three-point shot. Once again, Jersey Haven is the official manufacturer and distributor of BC Wolves merchandise in the Philippines. So the Wolves have a chance to cut this lead to one or tie the game. Whatever happens, there will be no extra minutes. And we'll go on to the second game on March 18. This is a very strong Ukrainian team. And the Wolves, with uh, all the players who have just recovered from injury, done a great job coming back from a double-digit deficit. Four and a half seconds left. Caver with the inbound. He will probably get the ball back. There you go. There's a foul. And Budivelnik still has one more foul to give. Three seconds remaining. Let's try that again. Caver fouled again. Only eight tenths of a second remaining, so they won't be able to have a return pass to the inbounder. It'll be an alley oop or catch and shoot situation. I think the refs are going to review when the contact took place, maybe add a little more time on the clock. Because there's always a delay between the time the referee blows his whistle and the timer stops the clock. It could be half a second, perhaps more. So let's find out what their decision is. It's been a tremendous ball game. A lot of great performances. Ahmad Kaver, 24 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Eric Buckner, 22 points, 6 rebounds. On the other side, Blisnyuk with 20 points and 11 rebounds. Goodwin, 18 points, 7 boards. Berhana Meskel, 11 points. Great all-around performance by both teams. Eight-tenths of a second remaining. They may also be looking at whether or not the foul was intentional because that would result in free throws, which would change the entire complexion of this game. What is important is that there is a second game on March 18, Saturday next week. We'll be making further announcements on the schedule, the time, and the venue. But it will definitely be on March 18. This game has had everything but an ending.
So the referee's also trying to see which camera angle works best for them. Let's see what the verdict will be. A lot of pressure on them to do this quickly because the game is almost over. Great comeback by the Wolves. They were down by as much as 13 in the third quarter and have cut it to just three points. Finally, their outside shooting kicked in here in the fourth quarter and late in the third. So this is where we stand. Eight tenths of a second remaining. Still enough to get off a shot. The limit is actually three tenths of a second. Below that, the game is considered over. Decent sized home crowd. It is still very cold in Lithuania. Finally, the refs have a decision. Let's listen to the announcement. Oh, that's an awful lot. There's something wrong with the clock. That's not seven minutes and 51 seconds. Although we would love to see more action. They're resetting the game clock, as we said, from eight tenths of a second to something a little more. The crowd getting into it. So let's see what the final count will be because this will give the Wolves more options on offense. They could put up a three-point shot and tie the game or just take it strong to the basket or get the first available shot. If you see the players constantly stretching even while they're already on the floor it's because it is still very cold there they are indoors but it's still cold eighty three to eighty looks like both teams will uh, sit on their benches for a while while the referees sort out this technical issue So it's 1.3 seconds, as we can see on the electronic scoreboard on the upper left-hand section of your screens. So that is more than enough time to get a good shot. So as we mentioned, they added half a second. Here we go. Yuskevich is from the corner. Fall away. Does not go in, but... Great comeback by the BC Wolves. Final score 83 to 80. So we will go into next Saturday's game needing to win by four or more. That about does it for us here from the broadcast team on behalf of the management and staff of the BC Wolves. The coaches, the players, and the communications team. I'm Bill Velasco. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you at the next quarterfinal game next Saturday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. God bless.